Hi Earth Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your March 6th. This is your dailies. This is gonna be for the Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm not gonna do my usual um how I start. I, I will try to flash it here. Okay. So I hope it works. If not, watch the day before so I the explanation of the four points. Okay. Oh, ah, I forgot to give a shout out to the other reader. It was supposed to be in the air sign. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do it another time. <laughs> okay, to the other reader. Okay, anyhow, thank you very much for watching. No, I'm not ending it yet. We're just starting. Okay. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising. Um, soon, I'm going to be uploading... Oh, the deck, I told you guys, is going to come down there. Also in the description box. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What's going on here? Let's see here. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Earth sign. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, a death card energy over here. Okay. Someone here. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> the transformation here, it's almost like you cut off someone, they don't even know. You dismiss someone. You didn't even know, or they didn't even know. This has this probably just happened because Plutonian energy. It's a surprise. Oh, okay. um, you won't see it. It's coming, but all of a sudden it ended something, and then you wake up. It's like what just happened? This is what you're having, or this person is having. What just happened? They're waking up to something, and it's like wait, the person is not here in my life anymore, or you're not in their life anymore. It's not about the breakup. It's the energy itself is not there. You feel that they're not there anymore. You wake up, you know. It's transformation. So it's not about oh my god, we separated yesterday. You know, I'm not. I'm not demeaning. You know, I'm not making fun of that. But the energy, it's gone. Oh, there you go. Other person, eight of swords, feeling trapped, sick, can't make a move. Ooh, yo! Yeah. I'm saying, yo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, they're, they can probably be having some ailments right now over here with the Eight of Swords. You could have a Scorpio with an Earth in your chart. And the other person, oh my god, they need help. Okay? You're trying to catch their breath. Because remember, if you ended it fast, how can they keep up? Mm. Eight. It is transformative. It is a growth number. But if they can't keep up, they're going to be stuck here needing some help. Someone really needs some help over here. We don't want people to get sick, but the person is having an ailment also. Oh, Ace of Cups. A new beginning in life, Earth sign. Whoop, whoop. I'm happy I'm an Earth sign too. Okay. Ending of one thing. Finding. A new thing. Do you want this? Look at this. I feel the Ace of Cups energy. Ugh. Eesh. They want to be around you every time. I'm not... Whatever. <laughs> Can you handle that Earth sign? They want to be around you every time. They love you. You love them. Aces are good because it's an action card. Someone is going to give you this action, offer you love, abundance and feelings and emotion, time-wise. For some, it's going to be April. Okay, Earth sign. For some, it's going to be the next winter. Oops. Okay. <laughs> it's either soon or a little bit later on in the year. The Magician. Okay, there you go. There you go. Someone is doing everything and anything to make them feel better. This is someone seeking healing because the magician can be some sort of a, a energy healer. Okay. This person can be creating something. Oh, I know what it is also. Someone is having showing that they can do everything and anything, but inside they're sick. You got me. They're stuck inside. But they're going to show this energy. I'm a magician. I do anything and everything I want, want with my life. But the other person over here is like, well, I don't care. I don't even care. 
This person's energy is like, you're dead to me. Hey. That's a breakup right there now. Oh, Ace of Swords. I like when two aces comes. It's not conflict. Conflict when I get more than ace. When more than one. More than two. Can be a new air sign coming in your life. After the breakup. After the, um, the difficult energy. After you realize... Uh, you wake up and you... You will wake up. And you're going to be talking to someone or you... Oh, wow. This is going to happen fast. You will wake up and then all of a sudden, someone loves you. Someone wants to talk to you. It just happened. This is this is not faith, destiny. No, no, no. This is about someone enters your life in a surprise way. Unknowing. Like, boom. Yeah. The other person is Queen of Swords. Oh, yep. This is it. The, my 180. The could have been. Ace to the Queen of Swords. It could have worked out. There was something missing. It could have. Didn't work out. They appear to be right now to you. Cold. I do everything and anything with my life. I don't need nobody. Yeah, you don't need nobody. But clearly you need people over here. You need someone to, to care for you. You need someone to to look over your basic needs with an eight of cups. Someone here with an eight of swords acting childish. And someone's gonna get a lecture also. Queen of Swords. They appear to be cold, yes, because they're cold and sick from the inside. Well the other person is having a new amazing life already here. Can be with a water sign or an air sign that's coming their way or your way that's already or if this person has entered in your life right now. Water and air in their chart is a new beginning. While well, the other person here is just watching the could have been. I'm not sure if they're going to take action because the Magician is an action card. But I'm going to see that in extended read on how this person interacts with you, Earth sign. Okay? So, thank you very much guys for watching your March 6th. Expect the other, the weeklies to come. Oh wow, March 6th. So I have to do the... I have to do the March 7th and the 8th already. Okay. Okay. Now I feel rushed or time. Okay. So thank you very much guys for watching. Bye.